Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be an introduction to our house building project. Uh, this is going to be obviously a long ongoing series of videos uh, because we're going to take you from what the house looks like on paper all the way through to the finished product. And I'm going to try to do these videos in such a way that people can understand what goes into the various stages and how long it takes. Uh, we're already over a year into this project just doing the design work, the engineering piece of it, and uh, getting the money ironed out, going with the talk to the bank and get our, our construction loan and everything straightened out. Some of it waiting on prices to come down on building materials but mostly we've been waiting on other people that are critical to the project to either do their part or to show up um, the house we're building I guess you would consider it to be a farmhouse uh, at least in style it's going on a farm so I guess technically anything we build is going to be a farmhouse. The overall goal for this house was to integrate ideas from places that we had lived, things that we've seen that would make living in the house easier, but we're getting older and we're trying to mitigate long-term maintenance uh, problems. So, you know, when I'm 60 something years old, I don't want to be up on a ladder painting trim and, and that kind of stuff. We also wanted to integrate some of the energy efficient design ideas that we've seen in other parts of the world where we've lived and integrate some new technology that uh, has come up, you know, in the last 20, 30 years. We are shooting for a highly energy efficient home that will allow us to save money on heating and cooling costs, will improve the overall indoor environment, and just make it a more pleasant place to live. Uh, because of the things that we do, um, just on a daily basis, we've integrated things into it like we want an outdoor canning kitchen on the back porch. Um, we want porches all the way around because that limits the solar gain in the summertime. It also uh, protects the cladding on the lower floor of the house so that we're, you know, we're not having to do repairs on that over time. Um, and just gives us outdoor living space because we spend a lot of time outside. Um, we're not big entertainers, but we do like to be outside. And so we wanted that aspect of it. So I'm gonna roll in some footage of the building system or systems that we're gonna be using to build this house. And uh, I'll throw up some of the uh, elevation drawings uh, so you can Kind of get a, a feel for what it's going to look like overall. I don't have any computer graphic 3D models and and all of that, uh, but I will give you uh, kind of an idea of of what this thing's going to look like. So that being said, I hope you can uh, join us on the journey. Uh, definitely. If you're not subscribed, subscribe, uh, click the notification bell, and uh, you'll see uh, <laughs> what, what it's like building a house. There were several different uh, block companies and traditional ICF companies that we looked at when we were trying to decide what we were going to use to build this house. And the company we settled on was uh, is this company called Legacy Block out of uh, Orlando, Florida. We liked the way the block went together. We liked the insulation value it provided and the um, resistance to weather events and all kinds of stuff. Most importantly, 
they were able to link us up with an architect that could design the house around the building system. The other block companies we looked at did not offer that service. And when we tried to find energy efficient architects and engineers in our, you know, 200 mile radius of our area, nobody was willing to work with us unless we were willing to purchase the system that they sold in addition to their design services. Before I roll in the video footage, there's some information here that I'm going to share with you about the energy efficiency of this product. And while it is not a straight R value comparison because these walls are considered uh, thermal mass walls, the cementitious insulated concrete form in conjunction with the core that you pour in it of uh, concrete gives you a thermal mass of approximately 30 pounds to the square foot of wall surface. And that falls right in the area that the Department of Energy considers a thermal mass wall. The benefit of a thermal mass wall where you get your calculated R value is it buffers the heat exchange from inside the house to outside the house and vice versa, depending upon the season. The Legacy Block ICF building system offers freedom of design from the ground up. Legacy Block is a state-of-the-art building system that has been used in over a million residential and commercial construction projects worldwide. Our blocks are made of 85% recycled styrofoam. For example, when ocean containers are uncrated and electronic components unpacked, there is an excess of foam that is discarded and normally sent to a landfill. Legacy intercepts this foam and mixes it with cement to create a brand new, highly insulative and fire-resistant building block. So no need to clear an acre of forest as Legacy blocks are a green building material using recycled material. Legacy blocks are molded in two halves and machined to precise thickness. The blocks are then set on racks and allowed to cure, then milled to assure proper thickness, and the two halves are then joined together. Because the foam is post-consumable, there is no outgassing. Blocks arrive directly to your site on a flatbed or container, banded, or on pallets, making it very easy for you to offload. Working with Legacy Block is very easy. The material allows for precise workmanship and can easily be shaped by a saw or rasp. Two men can easily stack a 10-inch block weighing up to 80 pounds. The rebar is then placed into the core. No need to center or tie it unless local codes require. It really is a quick and simple process. Mark it with a nail or a keyhole saw, cut it, stack in place, check it for plumb, then glue. Drop in the vertical rebar and fill it with concrete. End blocks are used for windows and door jams and they can be cut to make corners. Staples are used to secure the corners. Unlike other ICF, very little bracing or shoring is needed as the weight of a legacy block is just right for lifting. The 2500 PSI grout and an eight inch slump flows easily through the cavities, making the wall 700% stronger than two x four wood frame construction. This is how much concrete goes into a legacy block. As you can see, concrete only flows a short distance horizontally, and this makes legacy blocks fill rapidly. Because of the rapid fill and the ultimate strength, this is why legacy is approved for multiple story use in all four seismic zones. This is a video of a 4,300 square foot nature lovers retreat, erected with legacy blocks in just six days. That's 100 square feet of wall surface area in 35 minutes. The blocks are fire resistant, impervious to mold and insects, and have superior insulative qualities that can save as much as 50% on utilities. Equally important, when constructed, a legacy block ICF home can withstand category five hurricane or tornado force winds. Legacy ICF blocks are a cementitious ICF block comprised of a mixture of cement and post-consumable polystyrene. Lightweight enough to handle and install quickly, 
but strong enough to pour entire wall sections at a time without the fear of blowouts that occur with white ICF blocks. At the time we were doing our design for this house, when we were taking into consideration the cost of building materials, we were trying to find an alternative to fabricated um, lumber floor joist systems. And we settled on this company called Speed Floor. They were recommended to us by Legacy Block and I had been looking at a similar system from a different manufacturer. By going with their system, it's going to give us a stronger overall structure as well as increasing the thermal mass of the structure and hopefully give us a lot lower maintenance over the lifetime of this building. An innovative suspended concrete floor system can save building professionals time and money. With no back propping required, Speed Floor reduces construction time, enabling access up to three weeks earlier. Unique cold formed steel joists maintain strength and integrity while reducing slab thickness, craneage and material costs. Speed Floor's fully engineered system is a proven performer in all types of construction. Joists are delivered in bundles, craned onto the primary structure and manually moved into position. Lock bars are installed to hold the joists in position. Form ply is then installed. Steel reinforcement is laid and the concrete is poured. Three days later, the form ply and lock bars are removed and the floor is complete. Being up to 50% lighter than other slab systems, Speed Floor is ideal for building extensions. It has excellent spanning capabilities and the versatility to run services through the pre-punched holes. A fully engineered system, Speed Floor meets all Australian building code requirements, including fire ratings and acoustic performance. With less steel and less concrete than other systems, choosing Speed Floor is environmentally responsible. Suitable for all types of construction, it is ideal for housing, apartments, car parks, commercial and office complexes. With over 20 years supporting the construction industry, Speed Floor represents the smarter, greener, innovative choice. Due to the cost, we decided to go with a traditional truss style roof system with spray foam under the deck and a Galvalume metal exterior, which is Energy Star rated. Now that I've uh, given you an idea of some of the major construction components going into this project, I'm going to go ahead and put up the drawings to let you kind of develop an idea of what this thing's going to look like. Uh, the first one's going to be our front elevation, which is the south facing side of the house. The cladding on the lower portion of the of the house is going to be stone that you saw us taking off of the uh, the older farmhouse in another video and then we're going to look at the other elevations the trim on the house is going to be white the lap siding on the upstairs is going to be a darker emerald green color those products are going to come from lp smart side with their diamond coat uh 30 year finish coating again trying to mitigate long-term maintenance the back side of the house uh, is going to have the wraparound porch but there's going to be an extended section that we will at some point uh, screen in or maybe make into a four season porch and beside that is going to be our canning kitchen so that we can process stuff out of the garden and and do our canning outside to try to keep some of the heat out of the house as we go through the project you know i'll introduce the different things we're going to be putting in the house and and uh you're going to see how this thing's going to be built so i really hope that you uh subscribe and come back and watch our progress and ask questions and you know maybe learn something that you might want to integrate into your own house in some way thanks for sticking with us and uh watching this video and watching all our other videos we really appreciate that you take your time out of your day to to do that with us so uh thank you and uh, y'all have a good day